Welcome all to the weekly outlook. Bernie here from Elliott Wave Pro. So starting off with DXY, nothing's changed on the daily. We got that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or we may get five for a three, three, five, and then we get that A, B, C. H4, it was looking quite bullish last week in here. Um, it did give us a high high. We're starting to get bearish divergence now. So uh, ideally, we get a larger correction starting to form, like I'm looking at on this daily. You know, I'm looking for this in here, this B wave. On the H1, there's a couple of different scenarios here. This may turn into a flat if we're just looking at this last bit here. We get like uh, like one, two, three, four, five in here on the lower time frame. And then we get an A, B, C, some sort of a running or expanding flat or just maybe a regular flat. And then we get an A, B, C. So really waiting for a correction, uh, something you know, a correction that we can identify before we look for a buy. Unless you're going down onto the lower time frame, then you you more than likely get an one, two, three, way four and a way five up. You could look to trade that way five up on the lower time frames. Are you Similar to DXY, we're looking for that 333 or 335 complex correction in here before we get that larger C up on the daily. Last week, if you go back, you'll recall that we're looking at this as well um, to go and break that low. at done that, and now we've got a nice impulse up. It's going to be quite difficult, though. Uh, it's come straight back down. So... Um, Oh, this is during the week. I was looking for another one up in here on the lower time frames. But um, we come from a low and we got a nice impulse up. So I was just looking for a correction in here and an, at least three up. But as you can see, this has come straight back down here. Um, so it may become more complex. We may get some sort of a, a B wave in here. Um and three down in here, and then we get an A, B, C flat before we get more downside. Or another scenario is we get like we get an impulse up in here, and then three up in here, and get a, a flat for three upside. So really, just waiting to see what happens in here now. Um, does it give us a bearish setup? for three down or does it give us a bullish setup for three up but whatever it is it's just going to be a correction in within this wave here i dare say so it's really just scalping on the lower time frames there is nothing to uh there's real no nice setup at this stage GU, we're looking for this C down on the lower time frames. Oh, I've got this in here too. Very similar to all the rest of them. Last week it was looking very bearish still. we come down, broke the low. Very similar to AU, so I won't go into this too much. But it's very similar. This one didn't give us a high high here though. Uh AU, we come from a low and we got a high high. This one didn't give it a high high, so this may turn even more complex. We get some sort of an A, a B, a C, and then A, B, C. So, um, yeah, there's really not much at all at this stage. It's more of a sell. If I quickly go down on to the lower time frames, no, it's, it's more of a sell. We sort of got uh, like one, two, three, wait for a wave four, and then get a wave five down. So, yeah. Really not much on any of the majors at the moment. Um, because like I said on the AU, it broke the top, gave us a high high on the H1, and then 
come straight back down. So if price action starts to do that, well, you virtually have to leave it alone until you work out what it's doing. So EU, nothing's changed on the daily. We're looking for this seed down, then we're looking for more upside. This was very similar to GU. Um, we never got a higher high here like AU. Um, so there really isn't much to do here. I mean, last week we were looking for the sell. You know, I was saying, you know, this is looking very corrective. We'll get a lower low here. And that's pretty much what's happened. Um, you, if you're in that uh, cell, you know, you, you probably still could keep it. But we are getting bullish divergence. So, you know, how far this goes um, is anyone's guess. And again, there's really nothing to trade on it. There's nothing to trade on it. You know, we got three impulses. We got an impulse, impulse, and an impulse. So more than likely, we'll get a correction in here and three down in here, breaking this low, and then an A, B, C, some sort of a flat, and then more downside. So unless you're going to scalp, you know, some sort of a correction like that, there's really not much to do. Um, you're on the sideline waiting for that correction to happen and then trading with the next impulse and you <clears throat> I should have put the arrows on here by now but I'm looking for that 333 in here so we get uh, um, 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 or it may turn into 5 as a 335 complex correction before we get that A, B, C Really looking for a correction in here. Move that. That's what we're looking at on Friday. It never played out. Um, but on the H4, it's like the rest of them, you know. We're looking for this low here to get broken because this was looking very corrective. Um, and we did break that low. This is very similar to AU. We did get a higher high, you know. And we got a nice impulse up, but it comes straight back down. So it's very, go back to AU because it's it's exactly the same as AU. There's two different scenarios there. So uh, GY, there's, um, I'm still not convinced this is over, this correction in here. We did get this, um, if you go back through my videos, you'll see what I was looking at. I was looking for this in here, and this was looking very choppy. So I was looking for this one down. This one didn't go very far, though, this move down in here. <coughs> Excuse me. It did give us a ball hidden in here, though. <coughs> and, yeah, it's just about going up and broken that top. But I was looking for that, uh, like an A, B, C in here, some sort of a flat, and then we get like that W, X, Y, X2, and a Z up as a complex correction before we get more downside, like the A, B, C. Um, pretty much any cell setup, I'll just check if that did go and break the top. No, it didn't go and break the top. So you will have to be careful. Um, uh, you know, it didn't go and break the top, so um, there's a ball hidden in here. So you, you have to be extremely careful here. We have a ball hidden in here. So this can be an A, B, C here, a flat. Then you get an A, B, C breaking that top. So, you know, if you're looking for the cells, uh, be careful. It's, in my opinion, <clears throat> this flat here could definitely play out and we get an A, B, C here. <clears throat> then it may turn even more complex and we get an A, B, C. You know, it can just go on and on. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, uh, if you're looking for the cell in here, be very careful. You'd really want to see at least this low here broken before you start looking for cells. You know, if that low there got broken, well, then you could start to look for a sell. If it looked corrective, you could look for a sell. But until that happened, uh, I'd be very careful with selling at this stage. It's more of a buy. 
and if you get the buy set up. Uh, UY. <clears throat> There's really nothing on the daily. Still possible that this is a flat. We did get the five up in here like we were looking at. It got to the first target. I was looking at that one, two, three. A way four in here, a way five up to that first target. It never got to the second target. But now we have that bearish divergence. This still can be this A, B, C flat. Um, before we get that larger A, B, C down. So, uh, you know, they may start to get a sell on this. I'd really like to see a lower low here, though, first. Um, need a lower low here, because at this stage, we have a possible ball hidden. So this still can you know, go up and break that top. So you have to be very careful with the sell at this stage. For the sell, you really want a lower low here, and then give you a correction and then you can look for that sell at this stage with that ball hidden there be very careful you may get a high high here and if you get a buy setup you could look for it um, i'm not going to go into the rules we look at when we trade ball hidden or hidden divergence and that but uh yeah if you want to learn that well you'll have to join the group uh you cad we're looking for this to go and break this top over here. It hasn't quite broken it. This is very similar to Bitcoin. Um, but Bitcoin really took off in the Trump rally. Uh, it's really on the lower time frames. You know, you really have to wait for a larger correction. We got a nice impulse from a low. So really got to wait for a nice correction in here. And then we can start to consider to look for a buy. Until we get this uh you know a, a correction i'd be pretty much leaving it alone um yeah it's there's really not much on it uh i dare say that we're get, getting all this bearish divergence so i dare say we're going to start to see that larger correction like i just showed on the h4 I, I dare say we'll start to get a h4 correction and then we can look for a buy until we start to see a, a completion of a correction, um, you're pretty much leaving it alone, unless you're going to trade in the correction. And if you're trading in the correction, um, it's very dangerous and you can get cut to pieces. The Swissy. Um, I was looking for... Uh, this is going a little bit further than I thought. It still can be a flat. I was looking for this A, B, C. We bounced off this 100 pip here and I was looking for another one down. Um, better shown on the H4. This still is possible a flat. Like, um, it's still possible that this is a, an expanding flat in here, but it's very much bullish at this stage. You know, um, I think we are starting to get bearish divergence in here. Yeah, we are starting to get bearish divergence with this higher high in here. Um, yeah, like if you go down onto the lower time frames, you'd be basically scalping, and it's just scalping. You'd be looking for a little correction in here just to go up and break the top. Like you get an A, B, C in here, then it may turn into one, two, three. Um, you know, there's a whole range of different structures it could be, you know. But it's getting ahead of ourselves at this stage. The only thing I could suggest is going down onto the lower time frames. You get a little correction in here and you're just looking for three up, basically. That's it, you know. Um, yeah. So EG on the daily... We're looking for any buys. We're right at the low of the market. You know, we're right at the, the low. And we're getting all this bullish divergence. Um, so any buy set up, we want to buy. We were looking at this ABC here. You know, we were looking at this for quite some time. You know, ever since we got this three down in here, 
<clears throat> um, I was just looking for an A, B, C or possible A, B, C to go and break the low. That's pretty much what's happened. We've got a lower low now. So just waiting for a, a, a buy set up on the lower time frames. Um, H1, it's more, uh, it's still bearish. Well, um, we may get a correction in here, but, you know, if we got a bear hidden in here, you could look for another one down for like one, two, three, four, five down. And then if you got a buy set up, you could start looking for the buys. Um, you know, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. WTI, you know, I've had this on here for a long time, you know, back here. I've taken that arrow off, of course. But, um, yeah, it's really on the lower time frames. But you can see the structure I'm looking at, at on the higher time frame. Like I've mentioned, and I've mentioned this for the last few weeks, you've got to be careful because we get one, two, three, four, five as an ending diagonal in this A, B, C. So I'm not convinced this is over. This in here, we have that ball hidden, like I mentioned, um, like I've been mentioning. And now we have bullish divergence in between these two lows here. This is looking corrective in here. If you get a bullish setup, you can definitely look to buy it to go and break that top how far it goes after it breaks this top is anyone's guess i'm just expecting like five up here you know as an ending diagonal so um yeah so we're starting to get a correction in here there's really nothing on it yet um no buy set up but we sort of got one, two, three up in here, and then you get an A, B, C. Um, or you could look at like this, uh, even this impulse in here, and we get like an A, B, C. Either way, you know, if you get a buy set up on the lower time frames, you can look for at least an A, B, C, and ideally it goes up and gives you that fifth wave. So you may be looking at an impulse here. You get one, two, three, four, five. But there's no bullish setup. I don't believe there's any bullish setup on it just yet. No. Nope. Uh, gold right up the top of the market. Really only looking for sells up here. It just hasn't been giving us... Well, we did get that sell a couple of weeks ago, this in here. Um, we were looking at this on the lower time frames, and it still is a sell even now. Um. We got, it didn't go quite as far as I would have liked up in here, but we were looking at this A, B, C as a flat, and then you get one, two, three. Well, I was just looking for three down, at least three down with this arrow here. So I'll take that off. It's turn motive. You know, we got like one, two, three. Get away four in here, and you can get away five down. We've got a bear hidden in here, so... um Yep, I'd be looking for one, two, three. I'd, you know, if you're going to look for this buy here, you got to be very careful. It may just go and break that top and then fall over. So, yeah, it's more of a sell at this stage, in my opinion. Uh, silver, it's played out. We got that uh, up to the first target, that 123.6. Didn't get up to the second target. Um. This is very similar to gold. Um, you know, uh, it's really on the lower time frames. Um, last week, you know, I was looking for a correction in here. Another one down. Well, it did give us another one down. Didn't give us that time factor, though. Looking for the time factor of this over here. Um yeah, there's a bear hidden here, so you have to be very careful. This can go down and break that low. If it does come down, break this low, um, we may get bullish divergence here. And then if you get a bullish setup, well, you could look for a buy. Uh, but you've got to be careful because it just may be a correction. And then you get like one, two, three down in here. Or if you're lucky, you know, it takes off and goes and breaks the top. 
but um, yeah. Looking at Bitcoin on the daily, it's just about up to that. Well, this isn't really our target anymore because this turned into a larger correction. We only got three up in here. I was looking at that one, two, three, a wave four and a wave five to go from here. It never went. Instead, it's very similar to uh, CAD. Um, and we got a larger correction in here, and now it's going. This is very motive. You know, um, Trump wants the US to be the cryptocurrency of the world. So um, here you can see that this is basically a Trump rally. We got on the daily, we sort of got, uh, it's very choppy, but I'd be looking at some sort of one, two, three in here flat, and then like one, two, three in here. Then we got this like one, two, three. So you really have to wait for a wave four now and then trade a wave five up on the daily. Um, we don't have any bearish divergence on the H4, so you still can look to buy. Um, you know, uh, you'd want a nice correction. You know, I'd be looking for a nice correction before I'd even attempt to buy this at at a high like this. Um, you'd be looking at some sort of an A, a B, a C. You, you'd want some sort of a correction. And once you get this C down, and then if you get the buy set up, well, then you could start to look for buys again. At this point, you know, you'd very risky to be buying up here. You Like the M15, you'd be getting a lot of bearish divergence in here, you know. Very, impossible to trade because you get a high, high, uh, deep correction, high, high, deep correction, high, high, deep correction. You can see that this is slowing down in here. So um, there is no sell on it at this stage um but um wherever this ends you know i'd be looking for a sharp move down and then if you got a sell set up you could look for a sell um but then in saying that if you get a sharp move down and then a buy set up well then you know you'll have to start to look at this is this an a b c flat here for a buy set up to go and break the top, but it's too early for that at this stage. There's really not much I'd be leaving alone at this particular stage. Um, you know, I mean, this is still looking rather bullish in here. Um, and by the look of it, it's got a bull hidden as well. It has, it's got a bull hidden in here, so I wouldn't be surprised if this does go up and break the top like this in here. I wouldn't be surprised if this takes off just to break that top, but it'll be like this, you know. Um, just break the top um, and then it'll come down and just break the top. Could go on like this for a long time. So you have to be careful. Wait for a nice correction before you start to uh, buy into it again. Um, S&P 500 right at the top of the market on the daily. We're getting all that bearish divergence like I've gone over. This was very... Um, I was hoping we'd get a larger correction in here, but it's sort of uh, it, well, it's it's going to the weekly targets, um, but uh, yeah, well, there's only you, you, I mean, if you're not on it, um, if you're not on it, like, look, you know, we're looking for a sell in here with that bear hidden. Um, I think may have been on the other time frame, but we'll. Um, we got a nice impulse up here, so you have to wait for a, some sort of a correction before you can start to look for buys. You know, you want some sort of a correction you can identify before you start to look for buys. Oh, very dangerous to be just buying at the top here and just you know, a U two hundred. Looking for this larger C down on here on the higher time frame. We got a high high here. Fortunately, we, I mean, this was our sell here. Um, and this could have turned motive, like I was saying, it may have turned motive, but it didn't. We only got the three down, which is fine. Now we got this impulse up here. It looks very choppy, though. Um, if you go down to the lower time frames, you can see how choppy it is. You know, 
uh, got some sort of one, two, three, four, and a fifth one up up there. So I have to double check to see if there is bearish divergence there. Yeah, there is bearish divergence. I would be leaving it alone. You know, this is very choppy. Um, this can be uh, uh, like a, a leading diagonal here. Um, but you already got five up, so you need to wait for at least a larger correction before you could look for a buy again. The FTSE. Yeah. We're well, looking at this in here. We we got like one, two, three down in here. A high, high here. And I was looking for one, two, three in here. We've got that now. Um, on the lower time frame, there was a, a possible bear. Um, well, there wasn't a bear hidden in there, but um, we got a lower low and we're starting to get bullish divergence in here. So we're starting to get bullish divergence. Uh, there, there is no buy set up. Just because you've got bullish divergence doesn't mean you can buy. Um, yeah, I mean, I would be leaving this alone. This is more of a some sort of a correction. Like you get one, two, three up in here. One, two, three. You may get five down in here. And then you get another three up in here for a three, 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 five complex correction. You know, some people may look at it like a flat, and then you get an A, B, C. Looking very corrective to me. Um, yeah. The DAX. We got a high high on the daily. This is still looking very bullish. Very hard to pick the correction in here, though. You know what it's a, what's it doing? Extremely choppy. You know it, it's very similar to uh, the FTSE. We sort of got like one, two, three, one, two. We can get a three down in here, and then five or three. Um, yeah, very difficult to trade. Might just go over that gas for you guys, but this is looking very nice. So uh, I'll I'll share this with you. We we're looking well, in the group. We we're looking at this one, two, three. We've got three down in here. There's a few different scenarios here, but um, I was sort of looking for a way five up up in here. It's starting to turn into a larger correction, but we we do have like three down in here. We're starting to get a correction in here, so you can start to look for at least three up in here. And then you get like one, two, three, and then an A, B, C in here, a flat. You know, and then an A, B, C, or you get an A, B, C. But over, overall, it's starting to look very bullish in here. So you can look for at least three up. And that's what I'll be looking for. You'll have to go down onto the lower time frames, look for a, a, a complete correction and uh buy set up before you look for that buy but yeah i hope you enjoyed the weekly outlook if you did please hit the like button share and subscribe enjoy your weekend and i'll see you out there next week